Hello and welcome to a Sophisticated Pairs Bra Naked Truth video series. My name is Erica and today I'm going to be talking to you about the bra fitting process and how you can make it smoother and more comfortable for you. To help, I've compiled a list of do's and don'ts that you can apply for your first or your next bra fitting. To start, don't come for a fitting after a meal, especially a big one. You'll be feeling very full and you may be bloated, especially if you ate something that's salty. So the prospect of staring at yourself in the mirror is going to seem very daunting. Now to mention the band size that fits you perfectly may just feel too tight at that time because you had just eaten. Along this vein, you don't want to come for a fitting while you're menstruating either, unless you are specifically there to buy a bra for that time of the month. Your body will change a lot during your cycle and if you come during your menstruation, you may find that you need a bigger cup size or even a bigger band size than what you would need for daily life. In fact, do come for a fitting when you are happy, relaxed, and not rushed. Depending on how crowded the store is, you could be there anywhere from 30 minutes to an hour, and if you really feel like you're pressed to get to another appointment, you're not going to be able to try on as many styles as you would like. Not to mention, if you're not feeling in a good mood, if you're stressed about work or family, then you're going to be more critical of what you do try, and the process is just going to seem more uncomfortable and more bothersome, when really it should be a relaxed, comfortable experience where you can find a bra that you love. Furthermore, do leave behind anyone who's not interested in being there with you, and this includes your spouse or your kids. Your good mood will count for nothing if the people you brought with you are bored, impatient, and ready to go. They'll rush you, they won't give you the feedback you're interested in, and you'll feel less happy with the overall experience. Before you come in for your fitting, do write down what you need and what you want in a bra. Now this can include something like the coverage level, whether or not the bra has underwire, the cup style, even how much side support it gives. But it should also include things like the color. For example, if you have a lot of light colored shirts in your wardrobe, you're really going to want to focus more on flesh tone or white bras versus stocking up on black or other colors. Also, do bring a sample of the clothing you wear on a day-to-day -day basis with you. This will help you identify whether or not a bra is going to work for the majority of your wardrobe. For example, if you find that you're constantly wearing knit tops, some of our seamed or embroidered styles may be too visible under most of your clothing and it would be something that you would consider maybe as a special occasion bra rather than stocking up on it as an everyday bra. However, don't be inflexible. Listen to this fitter's suggestions and ask questions because there may be some fit issues with the bra that you think you want that could be corrected by going with a slightly different style. For example, a lot of women struggle with molded cup t-shirt bras because they don't have the firmness in their breast tissue to really fit the cup. And a lot of times what you'll see is the breast tissue falls to the bottom of the cup or in the center. In their case, it may actually be better to look for something like a seamed bra. So listen to what the fitter suggests and keep that in mind and realize that you may have to compromise a little on what you thought you were going to be able to purchase. Additionally, don't judge a bra by how it looks on the hanger. Some bras have great hanger appeal, but they work for only a few women, whereas there are other bras that don't look like anything special, but they actually fit and support incredibly well. So keep that in mind if a fitter brings you a suggestion that you don't immediately like while it's hanging on the rack. When you go for the fitting, do wear the bra that fits you the best. This will make the fitter's job a lot easier, and in some cases you may only need a few tweaks, such as going down a band size or up a cup size or two in order to achieve the perfect fit. This will streamline the process and allow you to get in and out of the store quicker. Also, do bring a basic tee or tank with you. Earlier I recommended bringing a sample of your everyday clothing, and I feel like a basic t-shirt or tank is also a great addition. When you're staring at yourself in the mirror, in your bra, it can be very difficult to determine how much lift you're getting or whether or not you like the overall shape of the bra. T-shirts and tank tops tend to be very unforgiving. So if you try on a t-shirt over the bra, you can usually determine whether or not the style of bra will be right for you. As a courtesy for other customers as well as the retailer, I recommend you don't wear perfume or any kind of makeup on your chest. The perfume can linger on the bras and can cause skin irritations to the customer who tries them on after you. And of course the makeup can actually stain the bras. So just be courteous whenever you're going for your fitting and make sure that you're going to leave the bras in a good condition after you try them on. Finally, do enjoy the process. You have a great opportunity to ask questions, to learn more about bras, and to try on a lot of different styles. And if you follow these do's and don'ts, your next or your first bra fitting will be a smooth, comfortable process. As always, if you have any questions, comments, or suggestions, please feel free to email sophisticatedpair at gmail.com. Don't forget to check out the other videos in our Raw Naked Truth series, as well as our blog, Twitter, and Facebook page for all the latest news and event information. Thank you.